our question now is maximum contiguous subsequence so we are given an array of numbers or sequence of numbers positive negative or zero so we have to find the subsequence that has maximum sum so we have to find index i and j where i is less than equal to j and both are within 1 and n such that the sum of the subsequence is maximum so if we take this array so we see that okay what is the contiguous block that has maximum sum so we see that okay this 19 is having the maximum sum these two elements if we are having all positive numbers i will take all of them and i have the contiguous sum as the sum of all arrays if i have everything negative then i will choose the minimum among all the numbers and that will be one element subsequence so here i will just choose this one but otherwise if it's a mixture of negative and positive numbers so what should be done okay so let's try to find that thing out so i had let's say something like minus 2 then minus 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 1 5 and minus 3 so let's say that this is my array so what i need to do we have to solve this using dynamic programming so what we can do let's try to observe some properties okay so that would be the best thing for us so one thing is if i have to find the maximum subsequence maximum sum subsequence which is consecutive so it will be a kind of window and if we are having some negative sum till now and i'm finding something positive then i won't include it if only when something is positive and it is adding to my consecutive elements then i will choose that otherwise i will not take that window so one thing is that but other thing is i can have so i should include a negative number okay i can include a negative number if it is not making the sum less than zero less than equal to zero so what it means if i'm having a window which is giving me something positive and if i'm including some number even though it is negative but i should not just discard negative numbers we cannot just discard negative numbers why because even if we include that and afterwards we get some very huge positive numbers so still if the negative number is not making the sum less than equal to zero so we should include it in the sequence okay for hope of some positive numbers later to make the sum large so now again we will use dynamic programming to solve this problem okay so let's see what happens so we will use the sledgehammer of programming that is dynamic programming and it is a very powerful technique and what it needs is first of all we should have a optimal substructure so we should have some optimal substructure which means is that the solution of smaller sub problems when combined they give me the optimal solution so optimal solution of sub problems when combined should give me optimal solution of larger problem and another thing is we can express it as recursion or better word overlapping 
sub problem okay so i should be able to write it as overlapping sub problems and that helps because i can now use some recursive equation i can write and basically i have the sol i go from bottom up okay bottom up i go and try to solve the smaller problems first sub problems and use them in the bigger sub problems okay so now let's see how we can do something of that sort here in our problem so what should be done so what i say is let's have s of i represent maximum subsequence sum till ith element okay so it means that i have a window that till ith element so this should be included okay so some window so like if this is array okay and let's say this is the ith element so there should be some window so si means maximum subsequence sum till ith element so something some window should be there which is like which is the maximum sum which includes this so some sub contiguous elements so what i say is that s of i is equal to max of s of i minus 1 plus a of i or a of i so let's see this thing so this is just the thing that you have to use so what it means now let's try to understand this so maximum contiguous sum till the ith element is what if s of i minus 1 something till here was something positive then i can and if a i i add them so if this is at least something delta positive also some positive number then i can include a i with that window because now also something positive i am getting from behind so i will try to include it in the window with a i but if something some contiguous sum before that ith element is having some negative value so then there is no use in having that included because i can start a new window just with ai so if let's say ai is 5 and we have something from behind which is minus 4 then i will not have the window with that minus 4 sum i will always try to start a new window with 5 as the element so let's try to see that thing out with our example that is minus 2 minus 3 4 minus 1 minus 2 1 5 comma minus 3 so if this is the case so what will happen so let's see for ourselves what will be s of 1 so s of 1 the, there is no zero so it will be max of a of 1 comma a of 1 so it will be minus 2 so that is the longest subsequence that you can have maximum subsequence value sum s of 2 so what will it be it will be maximum of so s2 means the consecutive elements ending at 2 and whatever will be the maximum so maximum of s of 1 plus a of so this is a of 2 comma a of 2 so this will be max of 
s1 was minus 2 and minus 3 so this is minus 5 and minus 3 so i don't need to include it because it is adding something negative so i don't want to have this in the window the first one so if for two elements the whenever it is ending here at the second element i should just have the minus 3 so this becomes minus 3 so now let's look at s of 3 so this is maximum so s3 means ending at the third element so some window which is ending at the third element and having maximum sum so that will be s of i minus 1 is s of 2 so s of 2 is minus 3 plus a of 3 and a of 3 is 4 and or either 4 okay so now again the, we have starting from 4 and all the windows previously have something negative so if i have this included the previous window it's of no use it is just even becoming less the sum is becoming less so i just choose a window starting at 4 so just this element so s3 becomes 4 let's do it for s4 s4 is max of so this is 4 plus minus 1 or minus 1 so now we see one thing i talked about is that should we include negative numbers so we should include in the hope that okay we can find something positive afterwards and if we have some that is positive then it will help us afterwards so what happens this is 3 this is minus 1 so this is 3 so s4 something ending till s4 will be this window 4 comma minus 1 so that is fine so s of 5 we do so what will happen it is max of s4 which is 3 and plus minus 2 comma minus 2 if i start a new window so but we see that if we have something positive in this window and if i start a window here it will have minus 2 so it, that's not good so i will extend this window for s5 it will be 4 comma minus 1 comma minus 2 so this is now 1 so now let's do it for what s of 6 that will be max of s5 that is 1 plus s of 6 is 1 or i will start a new window so 1 so we have 2 comma 1 it will become 2 so if i have a window ending at 1 which is maximum subsequence sum so i will have this included because now that is what we hope that we are including some negative numbers still the window sum is greater than zero so it will add and now i get a positive number so i should be happy so s6 is now 2 so let's see now what happens we have s of 7 is equal to max of 2 which is x6 plus 5 or i will start a new window but because previous window is giving me something more so i will include that previous window so it will become 7 now what happens s of 8 is max of 7 plus minus 3 comma minus 3 so it will be 4 so now what happens i have calculated the maximum subsequence sum for all for all elements for all j where j varies from 1 to n and it is ending there so i have calculated all and i see s1 is minus 2 s2 is minus 3 so i will iterate through all this and find whichever is maximum so we have minus 3 s1 is minus 2 then minus 3 4 3 1 2 7 and 4 so we say that okay, S7 is the maximum and this was the window by which it was formed 4 minus 1 minus 2 1 comma 5 so this is 6 
so seven so s7 was the one which was formed and this way we solved this maximum subsequence problem and using dynamic programming so i hope you understand this lecture and this concept and if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video and knowledge about my channel to your friends thanks a lot